Hi guys, this is Sam. In this video, I am going to show you some possible fixes of an operating system was not found. Try disconnecting any drives that don't contain an operating system. Basically, this is occurred due to inactive system partition when it needs to be set active manually. So let's get started. Okay, in order to continue this procedure, you should have a Windows installation media. If you have not, then here's a certain tutorial for you to create a USB bootable flash drive. However, at first insert the Windows installation media and just restart your computer by pressing Alt Ctrl Delete combination on the keyboard and press F2 or Delete key repeatedly to start the BIOS setup utility. Now just select your Windows installation media under boot menu and just boot from that. For key instructions, you can see the BIOS item specific help. Now, go to Exit menu and select Exit Saving Changes option and hit Enter to exit from BIOS. Now wait until the Windows installation pages appear. After that, click on Next. Next, repair your computer. Next, click on Troubleshoot option. Next, click on Command Prompt. Now type Disk Park and hit Enter. Next, type List Volume and hit Enter. Next, you will need to find out your system reserve partition. Here's my system reserve volume number is 1. Now type select volume your system reserve volume number and hit enter. Now type active and hit enter. Ok, as you can see the message, Dispert marked the current partition as active. Once you completed the steps, type exit to close the command prompt and just turn off your system and wait for a while. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. Now let's go to the second method. This procedure helps to repair boot configuration data of an installed operating system. Also this video will help you to add boot files to a PC after applying a new Windows image. And one more very important thing, if you have encountered with access is denied error while fixing Windows 10 BCD then this procedure definitely helps to fix this error issue. Now just follow me to do that. At first open command prompt, type dispart and hit enter. Next type list volume and hit enter. Next you will need to find out your system reserve partition for BIOS based computer or EFI system partition for EFI based computer. Note the volume size will be in MB format and the file system can be NTFS or FAT32 as you can see. Here's my system reserve drive letter is E. Now type exit and hit enter. Now type your system reserve or EFI system drive letter give a colon and hit enter. Now type BCD boot space your system drive letter. colon backward slash windows space forward slash s space your system assign drive letter colon space forward slash f space all and hit enter to continue. As you can see the message boot file successfully created. Now just type exit and hit enter. Next turn off your PC and remove the Windows installation media. Now just start your computer by pressing power button and press F2 or Dell repeatedly to start the BIOS setup utility. Let's go to boot menu. Now just select and configure your boot drive as primary. For key instructions, you can see the BIOS item specific help. Now go to exit menu and select exit saving changes option and hit enter to exit from BIOS. Oh. 
Okay, as you can see that Windows 10 version 1809 is working properly. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions then please let me know in the comment section. And guys don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.